Hello and welcome back to another Lego Man Cave video. So, to start with, we've had to change the light. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to affect the recording. Well, at least we can still see it, I suppose. And you see, the normal light that we would have is a big strip one, but it's had to be changed to a spotlight with my spare basking bulb because these guys have had to nick my original one as the other one decided it was going to go bang. And never mind the state of that, I've only just done a water change. I've had to stir up all the sand and everything else, which is why it's all foggy. But we're not talking about that in this video. So, today, I don't quite know how I'm going to do it, but I want to try and tidy all this up a little bit more. So, let's see what's happening. Plus, that is going to have something in it because I've received a delivery. We have more of our structure stands which I used for that, for the train station. Now, the roof is on its way for that one over there. I don't know if I've got enough of these to make the same thing, but I'm gonna try and do what I can to make it very similar. But it might end up being completely different, but the same kind of structure, if that makes any sort of sense. And you may notice we've also got a 3D printer. I've been giving it to try out, but I'm missing half the power lead. So until that moment comes, I can't quite see what it does or how it works. I've never ever used one in my life. And we've got one filament, which is a big reel of white. So we'll see what happens. I also have the missing piece for that last tank in the aquarium. Okay, so I know it's been a few days since I've posted. I'm trying to do every other day, but obviously real life catches up. In the last video, we left off where I'd managed to get all the people put down, or a lot of people put down. So I'm going to turn the camera. Let's be honest, you're here to see the wonderful Lego, not my ugly blue-haired mug. So, as you saw in the last video, we've managed to get a lot of people put down. The vehicles are no longer driving themselves, including bikes. Thank you for those people who commented. I want to try and build a couple more new stands so I can dot those around. The figures, some of which have some sort of a story going on, some of which don't. They're just randomly dotted. I had to move all my shatari off that shelf earlier because I used it as a tripod stand for a different video and I just haven't moved them back yet so I've got to either move them or find somewhere to put them. I mean a couple of them are up here anyway. I could start putting some figures back on the buildings like the way they should be when they come. Some have actually stayed put. We've even got a little Spider-Man swinging between Avengers Tower and the Man Cave Tower. Yes, it is the Daily Bugle, but I crafted my own sign. And then as we come over here, if I, I suppose this has one use. I can tilt it. We've got a load of helicopters. We've got a couple more trains, hangars, Thor's Place. All that I've got to kind of incorporate. I've got this I need to decide am i leaving it as it is and just putting it in that i've got to extend that i don't know what i'm going to do i mean these i could build into a muck not really much space for any more mucks but they could also just be display pieces i'm still um in and are in what to do with them so if you look over this side i have actually left all this bit open so if i do put this down that's going to get rebuilt anyway, so it'll be picked up and moved out of the way. It's not going to have a drive-through. And then this can be moved over so that the car park can actually be incorporated. But again, if I do do that, then it means I'll have to take these plates off anyway. Still, you know, you've got an Avengers compound there. You've got an Avengers compound there. You've got an Avengers tower there. You know, it's like you've got the sanctum there. You've got the sanctum over there. Oh, that was another thing I've done. 
see if it works. Ah, uh, there we go. Little light, and I've got one over there I've got to put underneath as well. It's not massively different, but it definitely adds some sort of a difference anyway. Uh, I've also got the airport tower I want to try and put in to the city somewhere, but it's not like I've exactly got space for an airport. The closest thing we've got is like the little towers on top of, well, it was on top of the fire station and the police station. Uh, now it's just that one with like another floor, but this one has still got its little airport tower on top for the police helicopter, or in this case, the Avengers Tower a helicopter. I'm gonna stand here for a second. Can you spot something different? We have the second train station in. We got a clock on that wall, it's a bit blurred. Got a map on that wall, can we get the clock? Yeah. I've got to do the roof, as I said earlier. I'm waiting for another one of the clear ones to come so I can finish that. But it's the same or very similar. It might just have a slightly different colour scheme for like the floor rails and the posts but it's the same concept it's the same size the same design so i think that turned out pretty damn good okay so one more change we're going to make for this video i'm going to try see what i can do with this thing okay so that was definitely one of those builds that reminds me i'm not a master builder there is a lot of parts left over and my little coffee shop is done. So I've kept it short and simple. Never done anything like this design before. Now, yes, their design was definitely a lot better than mine. Mine is just basic, especially for where I'm going to put it. But I've done the inside to my own little miniature version design. But again, at least it is minifigure scale. Now, I can later on, if I want to, stick that on and then come back and add a second floor, which could have a seating area like sofas that are buried in the bottom of here somewhere. Like a big proper sofa seating area. So I could come back and do a second layer at that at some point. But for now, I've got my bare basic happy coffee shop and that is going right over there next to the train station so again that's a little gap filled up so i'm quite happy with that yeah the roof could probably do with some more of a better design but again i want to consider going up another level at another time but for now we're going to leave it at that i'm quite happy with the progress we've got a train station 90 percent done we've got a coffee shop basic done see ya Fingers crossed, things are slowly coming along. Oh, yeah, that is the plate. Where's it gone? There that the coffee shop was on. So I've got to put that back down and put the feet back on. But yeah, other than that, thank you all very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.